Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the beginner's guide to Photoshop, we are going to see how to create 24 hour time lapse from a static image like this one and to make it look pro. Let me start directly. We go to the layer, layers panel. That's our original image. We will unlock it that we had uploaded. Uh, the size of the image will depend on the final project that you like. You can keep it as the original size. Uh, or you can make it if you like to make a small GIF or uh, a video. Or you you would need to change the size based on uh, the output of the final project. I intend to make a, a small GIF out of uh, it, so I'm going to change it to uh, seven zero. Oh, sorry, the seven five six here, which is about one quarter of uh, its size. Okay. To turn the size again to control uh, control zero. Um, you can make this modification at the end when you uh, are generating your, your GIF or your video, but uh, it will take uh, more time uh, while rendering. So if you intend to make it on a smaller size than the original image, it's better that you make it from the uh, from the first from the beginning to make the image size uh, as you like. Okay, so uh, directly that's uh, our original image. Uh, on top of this image, we are going to add a new layer. Uh, Control Shift N, or you go to Layer uh, Layer New. Okay. Uh, this layer, I'm going to fill it with the foreground uh, color, which is black. That's the paint pocket fill. Just I click there, it will be filled totally with uh, black. On this black layer, I'm going to add uh, the lens filter. Uh, we had a previous video on the lens filter. I'm going to you'll find the link uh, on the top here and in uh, in the description, so you can see all the options of the uh, lens filter. So you come to render uh, lens flare. Uh, I'll select uh, the 35 millimeter prime. Uh, I'll keep it in uh, in the middle li like this one, and uh, I'll select it around 160 uh, the percentage, and then simply I will hit OK. Okay, that uh, will be your sun. Uh, okay, adding uh, this sun. If you don't like it, simply you can control Z. If you don't like these red colors, you can repeat it again. So you can go to filter. Uh, render uh, lens flame again. You can change it, for example, to the 50 to 100 if you like it more, or the 105. It depends on, on the kind of the sun you like it. This depends on the tones uh, in the image uh, you have because you need to have the uh, the color of the sun and its effect matching the tones in the image. So, because this image is a little bit dark, they can do in the, the winter. So, I prefer uh, to have this uh, image or to have this uh, sun. Okay. Uh, now that's the, the image. Uh, it's totally covering to blend it correctly. So we'll go to uh, screen blending. You'll find the screen blending is giving you the effect that you like. If you like to keep these uh, uh, orange shadows or yellow shadows, you can go to lighten. You can see it's giving in this color, but screen is giving a, a better effect. And usually you see here that's a reflection of the sun as if you have the lens here and that's a reflection uh, of the sun. After that, we go to Window, uh, Timeline, to add a video timeline. From here, make sure that you have Create Video Timeline, because the other option is uh, is Create Frame Animation. We had covered frame animations in previous videos. So, Create uh, Video Timeline. We click on this one. You will find that the two, uh, from here, you can scale your timeline, so just you can see it in, in the proper way. Uh, we, uh, we had, uh, now we have, uh, normally it creates 5 seconds uh, frame. Uh, or five seconds video. So this one is zero five. Is that zero seconds? And the frames in between are thirty frames between every second. Uh, now I'm going to uh, adjust the uh, change of the lighting in the uh, in this image. So I will go to layer. Uh, this layer I need to make it uh, first. I need to change it to to make it a uh, smart layer. So I can access that its transformation and its opacity in fully. So I go to a layer. Smart objects convert convert to smart objects. Now it is a smart layer. If I open the settings from here, I find the transformation that we use it later in this video and the opacity. Uh, now I'm having the maximum opacity for my layer, so I will go to the middle, exactly to the middle here, and I will click on this uh, small stopwatch. This will create my first keyframe uh, here. Um, I'd like to change it a little bit. I like to make it here, so I will make it between zero two seconds, two second and three second. I will hold. The, the lighting like this one. So you can change it or simply you can come here and uh, click on this diamond. You will create another keyframe here and I'll create another keyframe here. 
all are with the same opacity because the opacity is not changing. I need to click on this diamond to add uh, a keyframe. Now I drag uh, the timeline pointer till the end. I will go to here while I'm on this layer and I'll change the opacity to uh, zero. Okay, so it's totally uh, not existing. And I'll move. You can see here that the keyframe is added automatically because we had changed the opacity. I'll come to the uh, initial point of the timeline and I'll change the opacity also uh, to zero. Uh, okay, now uh, you can see that also there's a keyframe uh, added here. If you just click play here, it will take a little bit of time, but it's rendering. It's maybe it plays in more than five seconds, but it's rendering the image. You can see that your sun is coming, but it is coming just in uh, in the middle point. We will move it uh, later in this video. So hold on with us uh, till the end. Okay, you can see it, it's running faster this time. If it's not uh, running with you uh, continuously, just stop the video and go to here. Select that uh, loop uh, playback to make sure it is running uh, completely. So I will stop it and I will turn it to the uh, initial uh, keyframe. Uh, now, uh, suppose that you need to add uh, the movement of, of the sun. So how can I add the movement of the sun? I'll go to this layer. Okay. Uh, I will go uh, to this layer and I will simply control T on it a free transformation I will change its width to 300 so let me this one 300 click enter now this layer is extended to 300 uh, what we will do I will go to the go to the center again you can see that it's because it's expanded the effect of the sun is a little bit expanded and it's appear in, in a better view now I will go to here and I will add transformation keyframe here which is my sun is in the middle and uh, it's at its maximum brightness and I will go to zero which is the, the original uh, frame and I go to control T free transformation again and I will move this image completely out uh, of the screen just this one I need to add a negative here you will find now like this the center of the image which is having the sun is outside the image okay just click enter now it is applied and I go to the end frame here and control T again to create a new position and uh, this position I'll make it uh, it needs a little bit of mass because I move the center plus the, si uh, the size of the image so it will be uh, directly uh, one one three six you can leave it eight as it is now if you click enter you will find that the center of the image is totally out uh, of the center third of the image is totally out of the uh, of the image that it is covering uh, if you hit uh, if you hit a play now, so enter again to, uh, to confirm your modification. You can say if you see that the keyframe is added. Now you can see that your sun is not just appearing; it's coming from right to left, and it is moving. Okay, if you make Control Zero, you can see its effect. Even uh, it's a, the reflection on the ground here is is appearing. You can see it in a faster way when the video plays again. You can see and can see the reflection here. It is moving uh, with the sun till it comes uh, out of your image. You can stop uh, here. Just I hit stop and return back. Uh, maybe you like to add some night uh, to your, to your time uh, lapse. Uh, so I will add a new layer. Control Shift N. It's layer two. That's on the top. I'll fill it with black also. Okay. Uh, this layer I work only with uh, uh, opacity in this layer, so I don't need to change it to a uh, smart layer. Uh, I will mark uh, the opacity here. I will change the opacity, for example, to 80%. Or around 80%. So I'm having the shadows of my image. And I will mark this uh, opacity here. And then after 15 frames, I will take it out. So I will change the opacity. To zero. Okay, it's marked automatically, and I will come till the end one. I will change the opacity back at the end to around 80%. Okay, concern the keyframe is already added, and I will come here and add 
another position where it is zero so there's no black in it okay let us see what happens now if we run our video okay now we have the night the sun is coming it comes to the center of the sky leaves your image and then darkness starts darkens overlaps and starts again a new day if you like to uh, convert it to uh, a gif or a video simply you come here file i prefer to stop it first so i will stop it okay and then i will go to file export export save for web legacy this creates a gif that you can use it easily on your uh, most social media it will take a little bit of time depending on your processing so I'll speed up the video a little bit okay now it is uh, ready I will uh, go and uh, decrease the here the size by 50% it depends on the final output you like but I just I like it to make it smaller so it can appear easily to me so I'll make percent and press enter it's working again after that I click save then we we'll go to open my gif It was called image 2000 GIF, yes. Okay, and now we have 24 hour time lapse working greatly. You can trade on your social media, you can add text to it, and you can enjoy it. Join our channel, activate the bell uh, so you can receive our videos as they are released. Uh, on the top, uh, you can find our uh, post where we have details how to make these tutorials, uh, how to make these projects uh, in a tutorial way with uh, screenshots and steps and so on so uh, you can see it on our blog post and you can join uh, our newsletter to receive the latest uh, videos and tutorials as they are released thank you very much uh, for following so far see you in the coming videos